A standout for the University of Minnesota basketball team is appealing a decision to suspend him and ban him from campus until 2020. A new report says Reggie Lynch was accused of sexual assault at his dorm room at Roy Wilkins Hall in April of 2016. Ten days later, in a separate incident, he was arrested on suspicion of raping a 19-year-old woman. He did not face criminal charges in that case, but was briefly suspended. The new investigation from the Office of Equal Opportunity found the Edina native guilty of violating the school's sexual misconduct policy. As a result, Lynch was suspended. Kate Raditz found why he's still allowed to participate in some school activities. Kate? Well, Liz, in less than 24 hours from now, the Minnesota Gophers will take on Indiana here at Williams Arena. Of course, now this game has been shrouded by yet another sexual misconduct scandal, this time involving a star basketball player. It's important that we provide due process to all of our student athletes. University of Minnesota Athletic Director Mark Coyle said Gopher Center Reggie Lynch, who was named Big Ten's Defensive Player of the Year in 2017, will be suspended from gameplay over an alleged sexual assault that happened in April 2016. An investigation by the Office for Equal Opportunity and Affirmative Action found Lynch violated the school's sexual misconduct policy and would be suspended from the university until 2020, unless he appeals. During his appeal, Lynch will also be eligible to practice and have access to an academic advisor. When certain things like this happen, you know, big things, you, you go to your boss and certainly you discuss and, and you, you go with what the policies are in place uh, more than anything, and we did that. The University of Minnesota has made headlines for sexual misconduct for the last several years. In 2015, then Athletic Director Norwood Teague stepped down amid sexual harassment allegations. In 2016, 10 Gopher football players were suspended following allegations of sexual assault. Since I got here in June of 2016, We've talked very hard about we want to make sure that we are defined by our actions, by having great humility, and by representing this institution in a first-class manner. When head coach Richard Patino was asked when he was made aware of the current allegations against Lynch, he had this to say. You know, I'm not going to get into specifics of all that stuff. Minneapolis police say they are not investigating the incident that led to this suspension, which he will appeal. If Lynch loses that appeal, uh, he will not be allowed. He will be banned from campus until August of 2020. That would include athletic facilities. Do, uh, source also told WCCO that a third woman had come forward with sexual misconduct allegations, but she did not go through the official university investigation process. Liz. All right, Kate, thank you. WCCO spoke to an advocate for victims of sexual assault. She tells us that Gopher Athletics officials already knew about the past allegations against Reggie Lynch. Um, I think at a minimum, Gopher Athletics should have taken Reggie off the team a while ago. Um, I know that they were aware of these allegations. I know that they were aware of the report uh, when it was made. Um, and I think it would send a strong message to the rest of the team, you know, that you're not going to be supported if you sexually assault women. Stay with WCCO for continuing coverage of the Gopher investigation into Reggie Lynch.